Hi students, uh, in this video lecture we will see the formulation of association rule mining problem. The formulation of association rule problem uh, goes like this. Given a set of transactions T, find all the rules having the support which is greater than or equal to minimum support and confidence greater than or equal to minimum confidence where min sub and min conf are the corresponding support and confidence thresholds which are defined by the uh, problem solver or all the algorithm designer whoever sets that threshold uh, in uh, mining the rules or discovering the rules first we will go with always with the brute force approach so what does the brute force approach says it says that uh, you go on mining the association rules and uh, compute the support and confidence for every possible rule so if you go on doing like that this approach will be uh, computationally expensive since there are exponentially many rules that can be extracted from a data set so what you are supposed to do you have to uh, enumerate all the rules and uh, compute the support and confidence for each of these possible rule uh, which will be uh, computationally expensive as i said before so let us see what are the total number of possible rules uh, which we can extract from a data set that contains uh, d items suppose if you have the d items in a particular data set what is the uh, total number of possible rules so it is it go uh, goes like this r is equal to 3 to the power d minus 2 to the power of d plus 1 plus 1 so there is a uh, proof for this which is given in the solution manual of the textbook you can uh, uh, refer that so if we uh, at substitute at least 5 or 6 to this particular D so let us take uh, 6 see uh, as we have seen in the earlier tables so it will be 3 to the power of 6 minus 2 to the power of 6 plus 1 that is 7 plus 1 that is totally there will be 6 not 2 rules so out of this uh, 6 node 2 rules all will not be useful for analysis from the business perspective or from other uh, perspectives also so more than 80 percent of the rules are discarded after applying the minimum support and uh, minimum confidence that is if we take the minimum support 20 percent and minimum confidence as 50 percent then 80 percent of the rules are uh, discarded uh, which are which is simply going to waste our computation time to avoid performing the needless computations uh, it would be useful for us to prune the rules early without having to compute their support and confidence values so instead of calculating the uh, confidence and support rules then eliminating what we will do means uh, before calculation only we are going to or before computation only we are going to eliminate uh, them so uh, let us see what steps we can take for that so an initial step toward improving the uh, performance of association rule mining is to decouple that is separate the support support and confidence requirements you don't take it together and analyze you decouple it and try to analyze suppose the following rules is uh, taken into consideration beers uh, diaper milk so first one says beers diaper implies milk second one says beer milk implies diaper S if you take all of these rules they contain same items from this uh, uh, item set so if one of them is having a very low support value then you can say that all of them are not occurring you need not check for, for all these things so in this way we have to analyze the support so if the item set becomes the infrequent then all six candidate rules can be pruned immediately without having to compute their confidence values so let us see what is the common strategy followed to uh, tackle this problem uh, so the two strategies are frequent item set generation and uh, rule generation so what does this uh, frequent item set generation say uh, it says that uh, the 
its objective is to find all the item sets that satisfy the minimum support threshold uh, below minimum support threshold it is not going to support all the item set supporting the minimum threshold is being retained the these item sets are called frequent item sets we are going to see in detail how we are going to do this frequent item set uh, generation in future lectures for time being you understand its objective is to uh, compute the rules or the item set which is satisfying the minimum support threshold minimum support threshold so what does this uh, rule generation do its objective is to extract all high confidence rules from the frequent item sets found in the previous step so if you are having the frequent item sets being generated over here from those frequent item sets we are going to extract the high confidence rules so methodically you are going to tackle this problem uh, instead of uh, deploying or employing the brute force approach where you are going to enumerate all the rules calculate the support and confidence values for them then uh, eliminate uh, the rules with the low support and confidence value which is uh, a very painstaking process uh, computationally so this brings us to the end of formulation of the association rule problem in future lectures we will see how to do the frequent item set generation and uh, rule generation thank you